Alrighty, fucking hell. Took me a while to get this done, but... This is basically a combo video. This is a little bit of an update about what's going on. If you're not interested in this at all, you can feel free to skip ahead. I'll put the mint marker, I'll like say what time frame, somewhere on the screen. And yeah, basically, I was on vacation for a week. That was fun. Went and visited some family and such. I'm back, and uh, the power situation in the house has gotten worse. So, we are going to be busting our asses around here to get it fixed, which is nice. So, yeah, if you don't see uploads for a while, it's probably, it's definitely it. Um, also, another news, we have another cat. Another cat wandered into our backyard, but, uh, this one's actually healthy, running around and playing everything, so. Yeah, that's interesting, that's, that's nice. Well, a lot has happened. And pretty much videos will come out whenever I can get them out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. With all that said, uh, enjoy the video. Alright, now on to the section where I kind of basically break down the galleries at the time. Everything's been completed. And yeah, basically I'm going to tell you guys, I'll show you guys what happened. Kind of give you references to the process of everything that got created for the channel that came right now. So, I needed an outro song and an intro song. And I also needed an outro and an intro. And I was on vacation throughout the week while uh, ordering this stuff, so it took a bit, uh, some time to respond to most of it. But I'm at it all of it turned out. I'm happy with how it all turned out. So basically, this was the image handed to each artist. This is the character I created. I generated this the AI art generator. Obviously, it doesn't look perfect. So I was like, this is a good base ground for what I want. And I handed this to both the artists with some other references and stuff. So for the first one, uh, turn this invisible. It was Devaney. I hope I've said that right. Um, and requirements. This was the description right here. And these are the images for reference. And, and this is how it came out. This is the outro image. Came out awesome. Really happy with it. Um, there were some slight things that didn't correlate but it's it's fine i'm still very happy that it came out but uh yeah this is our outro image for the remainder of uh the channel for now and i'm very happy about how it came out looks like i said i'm gonna leave a link in the description to their fiber and anything else they might want to advertise or some or uh you know just link i guess i did message each artist afterwards Asking uh, if they want me to include anything else. I only got one response on it so far, so yeah. Alright. That image is so I'm definitely going to be running through again because they're amazing throughout every step of the way and the quality of the image I got and everything was perfect. It was great. I'll, I'm going to start from the bottom of this one, just to show you guys kind of how how good the communication was between me and the seller. It, um, Jet Argo. I hope I said that right. <laughs> I, want, I want to show you guys how the communication went from the very beginning. So, once again, I submitted my requirements. This is a half-body image with the background. Came out to, uh, just, you know, okay. let's surprise. Which is a very good price for the quality of work I got. I'm very happy with it. This is amazing. But uh, appearance, same thing, kind of, just slightly different changes. I didn't give the image uh, Giovanni. Hopefully, I'm pretty nice there. As I referenced the images, I want to see uh, if I want to see how I would like uh, how they could create this image, how they create this character, and it turned out great. 
but this is the pose I wanted, this was the character, eye color, font, and stuff like that. Same thing mainly. And so here's the first two sketches, this is what I got first. And also, them, them asking me if I want more detail on that, sharper eyes, that was very helpful for me because I didn't know how I would describe that myself, so that helped me. But these are the first two sketches, it was like this, this, hopefully it was, yeah, so we had one with the hair kind of short in the front, and then this one, um, but yeah, it looks cool, I didn't, I felt like the hand on the left wasn't doing anything, it kind of bothered me, so I wanted to see how it looked when it was doing something, hold on, give me a second, alright, sorry about that. Kind of shaky because I'm sure I watch a cat and uh, just had time right now, so anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, looks cool. I like the first one better, which um, this was the first one on my phone. I like the hair better. Said that I want the tail a bit higher. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I wanted the tail a bit higher so it wasn't like a raccoon tail. So it looked like a raccoon hat, essentially. And I also said uh, I wanted to make the hang of this pose because in the other image, as you can see, she had a skateboard. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense to the character. <laughs> so anyway, sounds good. Updated it. This is it. Um, as you can see, this guy moves up here. And this got changed, which I really liked. And uh, the hair stayed the same, but they don't worry, they fixed it. They fixed it. This is great. <laughs> I wasn't really worried about it. So. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I was like, looks good. The only things would be her left hand. I didn't want her left hand with love on it. And uh, obviously, I liked how the hair was the other one. Apologize, I mean, it wasn't a big deal to me, so. <laughs> and uh, he asked if he, if we'd be fine. We went to the coloring stage next with all the changes. And I go, yep, awesome, awesome. And this was how it came out. And this is how it was. What it was. And I wanted the eyes to be a bit brighter, and I wanted the raccoon tail to be uh, black and white. So I, yeah, yeah, obviously that's that. And then we got the final product, which was this. I think this came out really awesome. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with how this came out. I'm very happy with how everything came out personally. But I'm definitely gonna be using Jar again because silver quality and detail. This night sky and stuff was awesome. I'm very happy with this. And yeah. <laughs> Alright, as for musicians, also my audio is a bit low. I just realized that uh, you all down these all edit and post that. It's kind of low. At least it sounds low on my end anyway. Uh, the two song creators I used were a lo fi musician or creator and a funk creator. I want a lo fi song for the outro. Um, so. I yeah, wanted a funk song for the intro, so I used uh, <laughs> Aurelius. I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, I hope so. I should have used those books for the Shayla, but use them for the funk song. Um, uh, you'll hear the funk song in three, two, one. <laughs>
Right, yeah, and that's the full song right there, and that's the how the intros kind of go. I might add some on to the intro, but obviously the intro is not going to be a two minute long intro because it's going to be absurd, but I'm very happy that it turned out. And uh, yeah, so with that all done, there's one last commission I did. Last but not least, Rhyme C or Rhyme Coast. I don't, I don't know which one. So I will say them both. And uh, yeah, we'll just play the song. <laughs> uh, there will be a full song again. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy. But yeah, that's it for uh, the video. Um, sorry I have not been acting. Kind of down my control at the moment. I'm hoping it back as soon as possible. But yeah, they're gonna make this video, show off these cool things that we got for the channel and all these cool artists. And uh, yeah, all their links in the description. Shout out to them. And I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time, I don't know what that may be. Bye.